So hello one and all to um, an LMM chasing dinosaurs, if that's what I call the series. I've genuinely forgotten this stage. Yes, dinosaurs. Chasing dinosaurs. And with me in the car are some of my dear friends, it's Charles and Loz. And today we are off on an objective. And most important to take on this before I share our objective, what we want to do today, is that we're running half an hour late. Yes, we are half hour down on the time that we said we're going to leave, uh, which is nobody's fault at all, apart from Charles. is today we're heading off to the Midhance Railway because it's their gala and most importantly they've got a guest going which is Bahamas and having chatted amongst ourselves we all discovered that none of us have actually seen Bahamas running in the flesh and so what a good excuse to go off and hunt Bahamas a true kind of iron dinosaur iron giant thing which is absolutely gorgeous and yeah so we're gonna try and sit uh, the other thing to note from this is I don't actually know where we are we're in the middle of currently we're in Selborne does that help you understand where we are? I know we're in a place. We're in Hampshire. We're on the edge of Hampshire, heading slightly towards less of the edge of Hampshire. The Midhands Railway is actually pretty much on the edge of Hampshire. Why is it the Midhands, not the edge hands? To be fair, I feel the same about the Mid-Suffolk. The Mid-Suffolk is not in the middle of Suffolk. It's, I don't... It was not in the middle of Suffolk when they created it. It is like half hour from the Norfolk border. That is not the middle of Suffolk. No. That is a lie. And it's definitely not in the middle in the middle bit because it's kind of on the east coast and that is not in the middle of Suffolk. It's, so it's, it's just a naming scheme, isn't it? They're just mid it runs, county it, it runs really well, doesn't it? The North East Suffolk Railway doesn't really <laughs> or the thirty minutes from the border Suffolk Railway doesn't really yeah. work so well. It's very catchy. Yeah, it's it's not my uh thing. So um yes, we don't really know where we're going. The near Surrey but still in hands railway. Oh, well, I like it. I could the N S B S S I H R. Yeah, that's got a ring to it. <laughs> the Nibzir. We have arrived at someone that says private land with no public right of way. That's fine because we're not trespassing, but we have a plan. We have a, a plan for this, right? Once Loz has finished trying to park the car. Oh, oh God! No! Bail! 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 Run! Oh. And um. We also, see. despite being half hour late leaving? Yeah, something like that. We're now five minutes early for the, for the first train. We're good at yeah. this. Which means we're, we're very good at this. Oh. Welcome to the extreme world of uh, hunting steam trains. There's, um, there's very little going on right now as we uh, wait. But once we've waited for this, then the action will start. A Suzuki went past with two dogs leaning out the window a minute ago. That was exciting. Yeah, sure. Uh, many, many things I'm confused about. I read that on the timetable as being a double header. It did say double header. There is a plan now, and it involves going actually that way. We're going this way. Yeah, but we're entirely going the wrong way at this moment. We're going this way. Yeah. Can, can you? Uh, you can you? You can't do a UE here because the road isn't big enough. Well, for no, car. exactly. I will turn around as soon as I can. We did this earlier, and I found a good spot to turn around. Making good progress, we headed to one of the foot crossings, and we're in time to see Bahamas heading out in the glorious light. With Bahamas out of the section, it wasn't long before the double header that wasn't returned, with the standard four top and tailing with the Iver 2, seen here from the footpath at the crossing. It 
were so nice that we decided that we'd stay and wait for the S15 to head up with the goods. For us, it wasn't much longer to wait to see the 7F as it began its journey back down the line, coasting past us. And from that point, it wasn't that much longer to wait for the Ivert to make its way up the line again. So we thought we might as well just stay and see that. And as we wandered down the lane back to the car, we were able to catch that they stand a four working tender first as it crossed the bridge. Now is to go to another location and try for some different shots because we kind of shot this place to death and light is 100% totally wrong so we're going to try the other method um, <coughs> so yeah yeah that's the basic plan so uh, drive on is everybody happy yep. yeah I've had food so yes <laughs> at our next stop we are in time to see the standard four this time devoid of freight but traveling in a four direction looking much more aesthetically pleasing Paperwork, what's next? Yes, many things. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> All right, so if we get a bit closer to that, you'll see my diagram that I scribbled, which kind of indicates which way things are going and kind of what I'd like to see. Now, I think if we go back that way, there's a shot through a churchyard where we might be able to see the next thing that's in about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So yep. now that our driver has come back from his scouting mission, <gasps> let's, um, let's go on to the churchyard. Without too much difficulty, we managed to get ahead of the Standard 4 and watched it gracefully coast its way down the line. However, from this kind of distance, there wasn't really any sound, which was, well, somewhat disappointing. So we thought, well, we'll just sit here, wait for it to get to the bottom, run around its train, and then come back, because it's all uphill, and surely, surely that would sound quite good. Feeling somewhat underwhelmed with that particular shot, we headed back to the car and got back on the road, where the conversations got, well, a little weird. Picanto sounds like a Spanish meal. Yes. Mmm, I'll tell you what I really fancy, I fancy a nice mouthful of picanto. Oh yeah. Right, let's go crash into it. To me it sounds nutty. Picanto is a nutty dish. Yeah, but like Spanish. Yeah, yeah, Spanish nuts. Yeah. With the weather still holding out and under blue skies, we return to see the Ivert once again working its way up the line.
confusingly, the next train down was also the Ivert having picked up the freight. Once the Ivert had cleared the section, it was once again the turn of the visitor, the Bahamas, to make its way up the line. At this point that we realised that we'd probably had the best of the day, as the blue skies were very much being chased away by the oncoming darkness. And it was also time to go and get a new shot, so back into the cart we went. So we're at this uh, bridge thing here, so you get a shot of the 7F as it comes down, which is meant to be in like two minutes. Kind of close. Yeah, a little bit. And uh, it turns out we're both very unfit running about, it doesn't suit us. The Jubilee. So next up is to go get the shot of the Jubilee, which I keep calling Galatea. Or Leander. Or Leander, rather than Bahamas. There we go, Bahamas. <laughs> so, um, yeah, next plan, move and go shoot that thing. And that was good. The 7F does rather look at home, at its new home here at the Mipans. It just looks kind of right running through the hills here. But it looks very, very S&D-ish. So, uh, yeah, I assume the guys like it in its new home. It looks, it looks good. Good. Right, run to the car, into the car, onwards and upwards to more shots, although there's absolutely no light at all now, it's just gone bleh. We're back where we started, although the weather's very different. Bahamas we thought well we might as well stay here and see the standard four make its way back down mirroring the first shot we'd got of the day in this very location. Heading back to where we were earlier because we basically only know like three or four shots on this railway um, to see the Ivor on its last departure. Yes. Looks fine. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Good choice. <laughs> and um, if we catch that, and then after that, it's Bahamas doing its last run, and then try and find somewhere to get a silhouette at the end of the day of the Seven F doing the last train, which means there's only three trains left that are going the right way for us to see, which is sad Tra times. Tra tractors. The American track there. And oh. Big bean. And a Humpty! There was, there was one of my dump trucks. There was a Rough Rider on the back of that, I sure swear it looked like mine. Anyway. Um, <laughs> on the back of the baked bean? No, no, on the, there was a trailer. <coughs> there was a trailer with a thing. Um, I can't actually remember what we were talking about now. Uh, Train. 7F silhouette. Sil yes, that's what we're going to try and end with as a silhouette. Although there is 
very little light in that way direction to try and do a silhouette with, so we shall see. Um, but three trains left, spirits are high, being recognised by people saying hello. Um, <laughs> And I'm sorry. <laughs> He's sorry. I'm not. <laughs> this is a message that I don't know how many people watch this, but Joe, if you understand, if you know why he's sorry, we're we're all sorry. We're all sorry. I, I really hope they watch this. There'll be like four people who understand out of everyone who watches this. Four people will get the reference. I don't know if the sun's actually set over there because it looks grim here, grim there, there. So for the last couple of trains, I don't know if we can actually do it. Find out. So we did. <laughs> That was a very pretty last shot. So, do we try the last last shot of it? Do we reckon there's enough light, or are we going to give it up? It's getting quite dark. I don't know. It's like a further 45 minutes away. That's true. What is the last shot? It's a 7F probably working downhill, so there won't be much doom. I think I think we called it quits there. We've got some good shots. I think we call it quits. Yeah. So that was a very nice ending shot, that's a very pretty... Good one to go home on. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. So, um, that's it. We kind of, we decided that uh, that last shot was glorious and in like 35 minutes there will be very little light left because the sun is, uh, we're not sure if it's set. I mean, it looks pretty bright behind us. We don't know if it's set or it's kind of coming out of clouds, but regardless, the chances of getting like a silhouette of the last train sounds pretty low and also it's working downhill so there won't be any steam. So with that I think it's going to be goodbye from us a lot and I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching if you've made it this far along so. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it then coming down there will be the last uh, Chasing Giants, Chasing Dinosaurs, that one and this one just underneath me. I'll just do that. There we go. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, join the Discord. Oh yeah, join our Discord if you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> Buy stuff from the merch shop. They've got a Teespring. Oh yeah, yeah, the links to that is in the video description. That and, uh, oh, we've got a picture on if you want to support us. So we've got that thing as well. I remembered that one. Yeah. Uh, the links to that uh, are in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.